Welcome soulmates to class. So in this um, tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful top together with the flay on the shoulders. Kindly watch to the end to get the best part of it. For the front, this is the length of my blouse. Okay, plus 2 inches folding allowance. So from here, I'm going to mark the depth of the neckline. The neckline is not that deep. I'm going to be using three and a half inch but I'm marking three inches by the time i turn it it will get to three and a half inch by the side like this i'm going to mark three inches by the time i turn it it's going to be three and a half inch okay then i'm going to mark my shoulder measurement 7.5 which is 15 inches and i'm going to do shoulder drop down of one inch now connect it from this point to the shoulder drop down. Now from the shoulder drop down, I'm going to have my armhole depth, which is 8 inches. From 8 inches, I will come down by 1.5 to get my bust line. Okay, so at the bust line, I'm going to mark my bust divided by 4. 40 divided by 4, that is 10. I'm going to mark it. Then I'm going to locate my waistline. In this case, there may be no need for underbust except you want to give it a little contouring. So I'm going to give it a little. So the underbust here is 17. I mean the waistline is 17. And our underbust line, we're going to have 14.5. We're just going to curve it a little at the underbust, okay? And the rest is the length of my garment, which is around the hip area. So at the bust line, I've marked my measurement divided by 4, and I will add 1.5 inch sewing allowance, right? At the underbust, this is not showing very well so you have to follow what i'm saying to get yours at the under bust which is here i'm going to mark my under bust of 32 divided by 4 which is 8 right i've not added any allowance until i get the size of the darts i'm going to be using and the waistline i also have the same 32 I'm going to be adding half half inch ease to this right making it to just adding half inch and half inch here this is just for ease okay so for the dart line at the bust line my dart line is um 7.5 divided by 2 3 the um, 3.75 plus half an inch okay the half an inch is going to serve as sewing allowance so i'm going to mark this four one quarter down to the hip line because i'm going to be tearing this into two and then push it back in order to insert our plate Okay, so on the waistline, I'm going to be having this is my dart line. So I'm going to be marking half inch on both sides of the waist. Half inch here, half inch here, right? I will connect it to the bust point. This is my bust point. So connect it to the bust point. So at the waistline, I'm marking half inch on both sides and I'm connecting it to my bust point. Now coming to the under bust, at the left hand side, I'm going to go out by half inch from the last dart leg and connect it to my bust point. Okay, this fabric is not allowing the chalk to show very well, but then I'm going to cut it. So I'll connect it back to the dart leg. Okay, 
So now we can take our measurement. Now this is where our measurement is for our underboards. We're going to measure the amount of that we have at the underboard, which is about one inch. And then we add it back to what we already have. And then add our sewing allowance of 1.5 inch. Just to be on the safe side, I usually add one inch, but then, so at this point, I'm going to add one inch to for my dart and I'm going to mark sewing allowance of 1.5 inch then at the hip line I'm going to take my because we're not taking any dart from here it's only a sewing allowance which is already here so for the hip line I'm going to mark hip divided by 4 plus 1.5 Okay, so we're going to connect all of this together. Together, this is okay. And then the next thing we're going to do is to connect our armhole line. Of course, this fabric is not showing clearly. If you can't see it, don't worry. Please listen to what I am saying. Okay, this is our armhole line. So we're going to mark a straight line here and then connect our armhole. Okay. Everything that is done fast comes with a sacrifice. If this is to be a pattern, it will be easy for us to draft for the paper and then simply place on the fabric and cut. But here we're not doing that. So we're going to stress our eyes to make sure that we see what is happening. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting this. And of course, we are going to connect this dart line to the midpoint of the shoulder. Okay, where we want the ruffle to be. Because we're going to be cutting this out to connect, um, to sew the, the ruffle. We're going to be cutting this out. Okay, right, and then you can also add your sewing allowance just to be on the safe side. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting this out. So this is for the front, we're also going to cut the back. So here we have the front laying on the back. The back neckline we're going to mark 1.5 inch, 1.5 inch down, which will later amount to 2 inches. And then we're going to connect it to this point. The shoulder is just the same. Just a little inch above so that it can relax very well. Okay. Now for this part, the waistline, we're just going to take half inch, which is what we already have here. But we're not going to take anything away from the underboard of course the back does not have underboard but before then this will serve as our zipper allowance we are going to have zipper at the back one inch zipper okay so this will serve as our zipper allowance here i have one inch at the waistline i have not up to one inch which is okay so I'm going to be cutting this 
Now at the lower part, I have to shut the back by three quarter of an inch so that it doesn't look lower at the back because there is no bust at the back. I hope you understand. So, this is what we have so to cut what is on the shoulder, the flay that is on the shoulder, we're going to fold our fabric in a flay form, 360 degree flay. To know how to cut the flay or fold it, the link to the class is in the description box. So this is what we are cutting about 10 inches, including the radius. Do well to watch the video for the flay cutting. It explains it very well in case you find it difficult in folding and cutting the flay, a complete flay. Okay, for this particular one, this flay was quite big. So, but this is just the process after which we reduced it kind of, it became smaller. Okay, so you have to measure where you're going to be fixing the flay to know the amount of um, radius that you're going to have, the length of the um, flay that you will have. Okay, you need to measure it so that it will guide you on how to cut it, on how to fold and cut. Of course, you can make it fuller, you can make it up to 720, you can cut it in um, a ruffle form, depending on what you want to. But for this particular one, this was how it was cut. So like I said before, this one was quite big, but the process is just the same. Okay? So you cut it in 360 degree form and then at the edge you want to make it um, slim at the edge the reason for cutting it this way so that you can fix it properly you can see the way it was cut that's how exactly how you're going to cut yours the two edges and of course it's going to have a facing Okay, so just keep watching the video. You're going to see how everything was done. And you can use the same process to get yours. So you can measure it this way to know if what you have is this. This was quite long and big. So you can see the size we have now. It has to be reduced. And to make it stand, we used horse hair that um, crinoline. To make it stand this is not the soft one this is a bit hard so you need to get the one that is a bit hard and of course the um este was quite um strong though a bit strong not the soft one to stabilize the fabric together with the horse hair so you need to make it the same if you want it to stand in some cases you can also use um color stay or the peplum stay to make it strong while still adding your crinoline to make it stand properly okay so anything to make it stand just use but make sure it is standing that is what we want so we're going to face it and then turn it inside out your ironing is going to do the remaining part of the job you can see the way it's standing here very fine okay so we're going to be inserting this now it's time to weave it so that it doesn't um look very rough when after fixing so this is our blouse we joined the dart lines shoulder front shoulder to back shoulder you remember how we cut the dart lines so one piece of the front to the other piece of the back at the shoulder so that the flay can be in between of course see the shoulders are not complete so in between the shoulders in between the darts uh, you can just see what is happening so that's where we fixed the 
play okay so join the two of them together and you are good to go just like that just like that the flay is in between all right so thank you, thank you. and that's how we're able to achieve this beautiful look so do well to practice yours and see how it comes out bye, bye.